we train our people to be honest anyways. Yeah. So why would we be worried about videotaping it? Hey guys, Minnesota News now out here at the city of Aiken or Aiken Village Hall Police Department and Fire Department combo. So you can see the fire department over there in red. And here's the police department here. So they have a nice bulletin board here where people can post information. So you can see here they have the food drive information. Hands free. Driver exam route so people can practice. So a lot of good stuff here. So very much a community oriented uh, Hello. Hi. This is your guys' uh, coat drive donation pile? Yeah, that's, that's some of the coats, yeah. Oh, that's cool. How are you guys doing so far in the year for coats? Oh, not too bad. Not you too bad. About there where the goal is, or? You know, these are the coats that actually got donated to us from, um, like, the Lions Club and all that. Oh, really? So they, they did their own, and then they brought them into you guys, so you guys could... Yeah, so we could give them to the community. Oh, that's so. cool. Yeah. Do you know if they, they bought them with donation money or they were just... They actually got them? given to them by, um, you know, I don't know where exactly they got them, but I think they were, they, the, the organization the self got. Yeah. Um, you know, all sorts of and all that other stuff. Oh, that's cool. Or, yeah. So they, then they brought them around and they gave a bunch of the schools and then they gave them to a bunch of the smaller departments to hand out to people that, that were in need and stuff like that. So, so do you guys hand them out then? Um, actually, yeah, people can come in and get them, and then, like, if we find, a, like, a family that's in need, we can give them all to them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So pretty. they're just kind of free for anyone that needs them to come yeah. up and yeah. pick through and get what they need? Yeah. And we're not, obviously, a big department, so we don't have a lot of, in all fairness, this is where, you know, like, we usually have, we'll have our secretary sit there, and yeah. um, our officers would be in this room over here. Okay. And, but that's close to the general public. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. No, and that's that's pretty much it. So. Yeah. Do you guys leave your vests out like that? These are old vests. In all okay. fairness, like, cause this this would be locked if we leave here. Okay. And I'm like the only one on right now for the for the day. Okay. I'm the interim chief right now, and but we're such a small department. There's usually only one person on. Right. So if we leave, we lock this outside door. So. Our old vestiges. Oh, just so like, yeah, so no one has access. To no one really has here. access. In all fairness, there's always somebody here. Right. So the building would be locked if there's no one in, in the office here. Oh, okay. Otherwise, we're a small enough department that anytime somebody comes in, there's always somebody sitting right here. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, otherwise, the building would be considered, usually, I hate to say locked, but well, secure. It, is, it would be secured if there's no one actually here to answer somebody. Okay. Yeah, and that's why we have numbers on the door so that they can contact them. And the sheriff's office is just down yep. there, you know, what a block and a half. Yeah, down the, they just did a huge expansion, didn't they? Yes, they did. Yep. Was that all jail cells, you know, or was that just. There was a lot of jail. Okay. But then um, you also are looking at the courthouse got expanded too. Oh, okay. the, courthouse, yeah. the courthouse, the jail got expanded, uh, it would have been almost 20 years ago. Yeah. With, with the, the. It went up. You know, the, okay, yeah, the one side, right? Yeah, and then the courthouse just expanded now, too, with a bunch of new admin offices and all that, so the courthouse okay. just expanded. Yeah, because I've I seen that um, for the last, I think, couple years-ish? Yes, that would be the courthouse that actually expanded. Oh, okay. And you'll see the law enforcement memorial got moved to where it's closer to the sh um, sheriff's office now. Oh, so okay. You should take a look at that. If you yeah, I'm, I actually, normally I don't tell people where I'm going, but obviously oh. it's... 
Because then, you know, everyone calls each other, oh, no. be ready, you know, and then... Oh, they're, they're, they're very open there, too. Okay. Um, you can walk in the... Um, there'll be a sidewalk to walk in. Yeah. You'll see more admin offices to the left. To the right is dispatch center. Okay. Um, you know, obviously you can't get in a dispatch center. Right, yeah. But you can walk in, you know, at least... Like you'll there's see like a hallway or something? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and um, I'm sure that they might ask if they can help you. Yeah. Well, and that, that's expected, right? Yeah. And yeah. so... Um, and you can kind of just let them know what you're doing and yeah. whatever you want to do. Yeah, no, and that's, you, I, in all fairness, that's that's what it is. Some people that do this aren't, you know, they'll just ignore you guys and keep on doing their thing. And, oh, yeah. And then some people, you know, kind of are a little bit more aggressive and yeah. and just, like, literally tackles me down and everyone's like, why are you going to sue? I'm like, you know how many, lo I mean, you know, ACLU, is, everyone is suing Minneapolis. And the thing is, is for me, I look as we're all individual. Like, so if I go out with other people and they do something wrong, I shouldn't be held responsible for their action. I'm, I'm not them. And I kind of look at everything the same way too, especially law enforcement. Like you're an individual, you might be out there with a partner or like with the sheriff's department. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll say your agency because it's just, so you're out there with another officer from your agency. He does something and that doesn't mean the whole agency is that officer, right? And the lawsuit, the, the citizens pay for that lawsuit, not that officer, right? So is it beneficial to sue an agency for that one officer, right? Or is it beneficial to come in, talk to upper brass, you know, just depends on how big the agency is, how much they have. Sit down, we all sit down and watch the video. We talk about it. We talk about things that me as a filmer could have done different things perspective from law enforcement perspective from me perspective from comments and questions we got from viewers so we can build the community back together i don't really see that in small part i mean what's aiken 20 22 2100 21 yeah so yeah. it's still a small town right so yep. that pretty much everybody knows that everybody pretty much knows all police officers every the police officers pretty much know everybody and it's it's a different feel, but you get down to like Minneapolis and it's, it's impossible. And half the officers down there are all, I'd say probably all the officers down there don't live in their community or live close enough. Mm -hmm. um, like, uh, Chava, right? He lived in, I think Maplewood or something like that. And I, I understand not living in your city, right? I, I get that part too, but when you live in your city, you're, you tend to be the old school law enforcement, right? Your neighbors know who you are. You live in the community. Kind of vested in your community. You're, you're, you're vested, right? Yeah. And you're, it's going to kind of help keep, I think, that humbleness. Because fire, right? They have to live within so so many you know minutes of a station. And exactly how you came out and you talked to me and you approached me. I mean, I can't control the narrative, right? I can't control you coming out, you know, yelling at me and screaming at me or coming out and just... You know, talking to me and being curious. I mean, that's your, that's number one part of your job. Yeah. You know, and that's 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 what I want to see. That's what I want to put out. I don't want to put out the officer coming up and screaming at me because I'm on the sidewalk filming, right? I, I mean, Buffalo. I was in Buffalo and I was filming a COVID testing site. Officer is a sergeant with Buffalo Police Department. Carries a book of the Constitution with him. Um, but it's just interesting. I'm surprised you guys have body cams. How long have you had them? We've actually, uh, we've got them. Um, Amy, how long have we had body cams? Um, two years. Yeah. Oh, okay. About two years. How do you like them? Actually, we like them a lot because in all fairness, they, they've never come back to bite us. Right. It's the exact opposite. You know, they come back, you know, when if there's ever a, a minor complaint, we can look at the body cam and, yeah. and right away it comes back and usually it's always exonerates us, so. Yeah, it's 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 night and day. You know, I mean, it's yeah, it's you know, I think law enforcement initially was kind of worried that it was going to be the exact opposite. Yeah, almost like I hate to call it Big Brother watching us. Yeah, even though we're all called Big Brother ourselves. Right. I'm just saying, you know, but but in all, all fairness, it's the exact opposite. It's actually come to help us more than the other direction. Yeah, and in all fairness, it's we train our people to be honest, anyways. Yeah. So why would we be worried about videotaping it? I don't know how to say. I, I've heard that there's a couple troopers in the area here that are super cool, and there's a couple troopers that are kind of anal. 
and we get along great with our yeah. law enforcement, in all fairness. But you know, we're we're law enforcement too. Yeah, but but we we rely on our fellow law enforcement for backup. And oh, absolutely. And we get along great with fellow law enforcement. You know. Well, and the history here is, is very interesting. That where Aiken PD started was pretty much the first law enforcement back with the Watchmen, mm -hmm. right? The Night Watchmen. And stuff, and I, I thought that there used to be a little light there that when somebody had needed help, they flip the light on at the gas station over there. You know? Yeah. So that's before the sheriff's department existed. So you know, it's it's been the yeah. police department. When I started here, I've been here for uh, coming up in January, it'll be 26 years. Wow. And um, when I started here, we were we we're the only 24-hour coverage in the county. Yeah. So. Yeah, because I think State Patrol like got off at like one or two o'clock in the morning at some. Sheriff's Office did too. Sheriff's Office did too? Yes. Wow. So, yeah, when I first started, so. So how did that work then? Did you guys cover pretty much the county? We tried to cover it much and the deputies would get called out if there was something major, but we'd, we'd often respond to help, you know. And, oh, wow. You know, so, but yeah. See, that's that's interesting. Again, small towns. Small towns and, you know, and, and that's why we rely on a lot of cooperation among the oh, departments yeah. around here. I've had game wardens back me up on Oh yeah, heard of recalls. I've had, you know what I mean. Yeah, but whoever can get to you. Yeah. Whoever can back me up, come back. Usually, pretty good. Well, too, there's not a whole lot of people coming out to trample around and film. Yeah, so, it's easy. yeah. By the time media gets out here, it's probably over with, and they're just doing an interview and a press release, and that's. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. It's. I mean, there's no one close by. I mean, but yeah, no, and that's 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 it. And then too, you know, if you see us out filming. Again, it's your guys' time to shine, right? But, uh, yeah, no, it's cool. I Like I said, I wanted to come up here, and I, I didn't even know about the coats. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, the lion and stuff came out and donated a ton, and it was really nice. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm actually heading over to the Sheriff's Department Sounds now. good. No, no, it was nice to meet you. Back. I'm Jason. I'm Paul. It's good to meet you. Yeah. All right, so that was Aiken. Police Department, Aiken, Minnesota, was a definite pass. We're gonna be heading over uh, to the courthouse. They just got done uh, redoing the courthouse over there. So, yeah, it's a really good conversation. Super great police department. Really impressed. Minnesota News now out.